very, very hard to be gay in, uh, in Malawi because of the culture and uh, the beliefs, the, religion, the religious beliefs that people you know, have. They say that uh, to be gay it's and Malawian, it's, uh, not, it doesn't fall within the Malawian culture. Uh, people think that to be a Malawian then you have to marry a woman, you have to have sex with a woman, you have to be attracted to a woman when you are a man, you see. But still there are people that are gay like myself. Uh, mm. So for people to accept us, it's very difficult because they are saying that this is a Western culture. We've borrowed uh, this from from the from from the West, or we are we are maybe being trained by the West with the influence of money and uh, some other gifts. You know, that's what people have in their mind. Guy, yeah, young man, told us as Malawians. You know, that's why I'm wondering. You know, he appeared in the paper on 2nd of January. Uh, he appeared on Times TV, and he, he gave us two options as Malawians. To say Malawians, you either legalized uh, same-sex or homosexual, or you kill us. And I said on my Facebook, that was my Facebook page. Malawians were... Your, your, your Facebook page? My personal It Facebook. was you writing. It was me writing, resp responding to what these guys did. I said... Why, uh, why, why was it no, you responding to these guys? It, it was my question, right? Don't I have rights as well? Mm -hmm. Don't I have rights? Okay, go ahead. You mean, you mean only gays have good rights? So you, you, you took I, your I, Facebook page? To my Facebook page, mm -hmm. as a Malawian, responding to say Malawians, we have been challenged here. These guys have told us, uh, they have given us two options kill them or legalize as a child of god as a born again christian as a preacher of the word of god among the two options i'll go for the first one because we cannot legalize it because it's against the bible it's against the Quran. you know the the word that uh, uh, mr sonda uh, said uh, where that uh, gay people are worse than dogs uh, but as well, uh, they need to be killed. Uh, this is what he said exactly on his Facebook page. I think for us, uh, we saw that uh, as, as one of the um, greatest uh, crimes that a fellow being can you know, stand up and mobilize a, a fellow citizens to kill each other. Okay, I'm a lesbian. Uh, I don't want to be identified because I'm scared. It's either I may get killed or tortured in the street. Once I, ident I identify myself to the public and then I won't live long, eh? I don't think I'll survive. That is why I don't want you to identify me. It was spoken by one of our Malawian citizens that whosoever is gay should get killed. So some people are already taking those words like we really gonna kill the gays. So I'm scared of that. Um uh, listen to almost every day in the papers, in the media, who have been hearing uh, that maybe a woman has been killed by the husband and uh, somebody is found dead in the uh, lodge, a woman, S such cases. And uh, we have had some extrajudicial killings where even the, 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 the government is also uh, being impl uh, implicated in, some, in the involvement of the killing of people. We have been talking about the 20 July, almost 20 citizens were killed by the Malau police. Up to the, this date, there have been no accountability. After we heard the, the statements, what we, we did was to mobilize uh, the human rights defenders in Malawi, but as well uh, the, the human rights organizations in Malawi. We had a meeting uh, with the Malawi Law Society, uh, but as well other human rights organizations uh, in Lilongwe. And uh, the Malawi Law Society issued uh, a press statement, uh, but as well wrote a letter to the Malawi police and also the Malawi Human Rights Commission, uh, uh, urging them to arrest uh, Mr. Sonda, of which that did not uh, happen. So for us, since the police could not uh, 
uh, arrest uh, and prosecute uh, Mr. Nsonda. Uh, as activists, uh, we thought that uh, we have also the right uh, to take uh, this person uh, to court so that the court uh, should decide uh, in terms of whether uh, what Mr. Nsonda uh, said in terms of inciting violence, in terms of threatening the right to life uh, for the LGBT persons in Malawi is constitutional. So that's why we brought this person uh, to court uh, uh, when he said that. We're concerned by recent developments in Malawi where the spokesperson of one of the country's main political parties recently described gay and lesbian people as, I quote, worse than dogs and called for them to be killed. He was due to appear before the Blantyre Magistrates Court today, 22nd of January, after a criminal case was initiated by two civil society organizations. Regrettably, yesterday, the Director of Public Prosecutions filed a notice before the Chief Magistrates Court to discontinue the case, uh, underlining that the state will not prosecute Mr. Masonda. The DPP's decision on the matter of um, uh, uh, state versus Msonda is quite unfortunate in that uh, the precedent set is, is, is really worrisome because it, it is like government is sending a message that anybody can wake up and incite violence against other people. Yeah, I just, it's just my plea to the president that oh, the, um, the government, the lawmakers, my plea is that um, they should protect the minorities because we are also part of this nation. You see?